How God speaks, is a matter of concern to many believers. Especially if you are new to the Christian faith. Growing up as a believer, I sometimes marvel when other believers say God speaks to them about a person or situation. The question on my heart would be, how does God speak to us? Will I hear a loud voice from heaven? Does God speak as a friend will talk to his friend? These and many questions fill my heart about God's voice and how to hear him speak. Sometimes, I had thought God does not love me. So, he chose not to speak to me. But this is not the truth because God even spoke to a sinner like Paul on his way to persecute the Christians in Damascus. So, if hearing God's voice had been a challenge to you or you had also asked the question of how God speaks to us, I'm glad to tell you now that you have found the answer to your long-time quest. In this video, I will show you several biblical instances of how God speaks to us through different means and on several occasions. Also, I will share the 5 distinctive ways God speaks and how you can identify God's voice when He speaks. 1. God speaks to us through His Word. Colossians 3.16 let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. God's word in the Bible is the most reliable way to hear God speak to us. The Bible is God's word in print. If you want to hear him speak to you, then you must hear his word in the place of study and meditation. Now, the question would be, how does God speak to us through his word? God speaks to us through revelation in his word. 2. God speaks to us through his spirit in us. 1 Timothy 4.1 now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Awesome! God is a spirit. No man can understand the communication of God's Spirit, except such a person, has the Spirit of God in him. What happens to every believer at salvation is that the Spirit of God comes to dwell in you. Hence, God speaks through His Spirit in you. Every believer in Christ needs to know that God's Spirit resides in us. Therefore, we must always pay attention to the communication of His Spirit in us. The Spirit of the Lord will never pressure you to take unnecessary action. 3. God speaks to us through faithful believers. 1 Peter 4:11. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. Sometimes, our hearts could be too burdened with issues of life that God would want to speak through others to us. It could be a prophecy, a word of comfort, a glimpse of hope, or an answer to the questions in our hearts. Other times, it could be through writings like this. This is why it is essential to always keep believing in friends around you. It makes it easier for God to reach out to you when you can't hear Him. Subsequently, the Bible talked about speaking as the oracle of God. God's oracles are mostly teachers, preachers, and prophets of God. They speak as they hear from God. Therefore, do not shield yourself from these God's servants. Be open to hearing God speak to you through them. 4. God speaks to us through nature and situations around us. Psalm 19, verse 1 and 2. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech, night after night they reveal knowledge. Sometimes, God might not have to communicate to you in the usual place or through the usual means of His word. Do not be ignorant of the fact that God speaks through nature. God could take you around to observe nature, seasons, and things he had made, just to show you that he is still God. So, even when it looks like God is silent about that situation, learn to pay attention to his heartbeat for you even when it seems God is not saying anything. Silence could sometimes be a way God speaks in certain situations of our life. 5. God speaks through an audible voice. Isaiah 30 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. Now, this is a rare way God speaks to us. We might not all hear God's audible voice. So, do not be under pressure to want to hear God's audible voice always. It is sad to see some believers delve into the occult in their quest to hear an audible voice. In conclusion, I hope this video has provided answers to the question of how God speaks to us. If you would like to share your personal experience for someone to learn, let's hear it out in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel for pieces of information that will help you build your faith.